Hello everyone, my name is Robert from Digital Storm. Today, I'm going to be showing you our Enix line of systems. Enix delivers massive desktop power in a sleek, elegant form factor. So if you're looking for a system with a small footprint that delivers incredible performance, you'll definitely want to check out our Enix line of systems. All of our Enix systems come in a black Silverstone FD03 chassis that features a slim DVD or Blu-ray drive on its front panel. With many small form factor systems, chassis design or structural elements can oftentimes get in the way, making upgrades or maintenance quite difficult to accomplish. Not so with our Enix line of systems. I'd like to take you up top here. We have this nice black panel. And if I hook my fingers underneath the edge of this and pull up gently, the whole panel can be easily removed. This gives you easy access to all of Enix's mainboard, video card, and expansion port connectors. On the front leading edge here, we also have our power button, reset button, two USB 3.0s, a headphone port, and a microphone port. So with the top removed, if I want to gain access into the system, I just lift up on this panel. This easily comes off, granting me access into the computer. With the side off, the first thing you've probably noticed is the video card is hanging from the top of the chassis. This may look a little odd, but it's all part of the thermal and airflow design of this system. Enix features a vertical cooling solution. This draws cold air in from the bottom of the system and exhausts hot air out the top. This is a very efficient way of handling thermals and airflow. On the bottom of the system here, we have a 120 millimeter intake fan. Now this is going to provide a constant stream of air to the video card or video cards. Now on this system, we have support for either SLI or Crossfire video cards, and we can support cards as long as a GTX 690. In the middle of the system, we have another 120 millimeter fan. This is going to bring in cold air from a vent in the side panel. That vent also has a dust filter on it, so that's going to help keep a lot of the dust from ever getting into your computer. This is a nice location because it's going to draw in cold air directly onto the mainboard and make sure that your voltage regulator and your north bridge and other mainboard components are going to stay nice and cool. For our CPU, we're either going to have a 120 millimeter tower cooler or we're going to have a 120 millimeter closed loop liquid cooling system. Up on the top of the system, we're also going to have another 120 millimeter fan to help exhaust any heat out of the computer. All this cooling power assures that Enix can perform on par with much larger desktop systems. So to round out the features on the Enix, I'd like to take you all over to the back panel and show you the storage options we have available on this computer. We have room for three full-sized hard drives and one solid state drive on this side of the system. So if you have an expansive library of media or you have a lot of data that you'd like to migrate over to the system, you're not gonna have any issue doing that, even with this being a small form factor. We also have another nice features such as this removable hard drive bay up here. It's a simple, nice feature, but it's very easy to operate, so it's going to make it simple and quick if you're looking to add new drives or swap out existing ones. There's one last feature I'd like to show you. This front panel easily comes off, and with this out of the way, we now have access on three sides of the system. So whether you're doing cleaning, maintenance, or upgrades on this computer, it's going to be a very easy system to work on and live with throughout the years. So that pretty much wraps up my review of all of the hardware features on our Enix line of systems. I actually have a monitor hooked up behind me. I'd like to take you all over and show you that even with this being a small form factor build with a pretty impressive array of hardware in it, we're not going to have any issues with our temperatures, even under an intense load situation. Let me show you. So I have ADA64 running on this computer. Now this is an intensive stress test that's going to run all available cores to 100%. So if you look at this graph here, you can see that our CPU is running maxed out at 100%. So that's going to simulate the kind of load that you're putting on either during an intensive render session or during a long gameplay session. So while this has been running for about the last 45 or 50 minutes, I've also been monitoring the temperatures on my CPU. The highest recorded temperature for core zero that I've received is 59C. For core one, it's 60C. For core two, it's 58C. For core three, it's 55C. And for the package overall of 78 degrees Celsius. So even during an extended load scenario on this system, we're not having any issues. And that's with this being a small form factor computer, so it's got desktop cooling power, you can render on this or game on it as long as you want, and you're not going to have any issues. So that pretty much wraps up my review of our Enix line of systems. If there's anything I didn't cover, anything you'd like to know, or any questions you have, just go ahead, give us a call or shoot us an email, and we'll be happy to help.